So now we made it to the end of module four. So in this module, we went over more advanced things we could do with NGRX. Like for example, we generated an entire feature, our actions, our reducers, our effects from within the command line using the NGRX schematics library. So that's really nice. You could just run one command and you could generate all those files that saves you a lot of time. Then also we created a bunch of global effect files that will handle all of our global effects. Like for example, the spinner, the alert messaging, rerouting, all that is like pertains to the entire application. Those are global effects. It doesn't just pertain to our auth module or our auth feature. So we created these global effects and whenever any of our features want to turn on the spinner, for example, we'll now have that global effect file. Also, we checked out different things we could do with effects. Like for example, we updated our local storage with the user information so you can remove things or add things to local storage. Also, we learned how we could close the modal using an effect as well. And then also we checked out different ways we could use selectors. Like you could use selectors that will return entire view models for a individual component. So let's say an individual component needs certain information from the store. You create an entire view model and have that selector return the view model every time there's a change to the store. And that's a really neat way of using selectors. Then also you don't have to create a selector every time you want something from the store. You could use the NGRX select method. So towards the end, we checked out this NGRX select method and we called the store directly to grab something from the store. Now in the next module, module five, we'll be setting up a bunch of tools that NGRX gives us. So like for example, we could set up what's called these runtime check errors. We need to set this up within our main app module. And when we set this up, this will give us errors if we make some common mistakes using NGRX or Redux. So we'll be setting that up within this module. Then also a couple other things we'll be doing is we'll be setting up this NGRX store library. So we'll need to install another library within this module. And we'll be setting up this router feature within our store. So we'll have this router feature whenever we want it within our store. And then towards the end, we'll be setting up a meta reducer. And a meta reducer is like middleware. And we'll be setting that up towards the end of module five. So let's get started.